What is up, RC enthusiasts? Back here today, I want to talk about that new WPL C34 that's coming out, that Land Cruiser FJ40. Just a little update that I found out a little bit about it, you know, seen some pictures, a little bit of differences from looking at the regular kit and the upgrade kit. So I thought I'd put a little video out showing you what to expect when you get the metal upgrade versus the regular kit. And hopefully you will think it's worth it like I do. Well now, the way I see it is, if you're gonna get the metal kit, you are getting more bang for your buck for sure than getting the regular kit and trying to upgrade it and buy all the parts separately to make it just like the metal upgraded one. I guarantee you are gonna spend way more than they're asking for, the, for that metal upgrade version. So go ahead and go straight for that metal upgrade version if you can wing it. If you can't, the regular one is supposed to be pretty good as well, so don't even worry about it. You know, both of them are going to be great. So pick which one you want. With If you're more into tinkering, modifying more, maybe get the regular one so you could do all your own modifications and make yours unique to yourself. If not, if you're like me, more like I just want to buy something reliable out the gate, and maybe it's your first kit trying to build something, those new ones are probably going to be the better choice. They're, they're going to be better quality, more metal parts, more reliable. So I'll definitely, you know, I can't vouch 100% for it right now because I don't have one in my hands. But from my experience with these so far and seeing some other metal upgrades and stuff, it's for sure going to be better. For sure. I can't wait for these things to come out. Now let's get into it. We'll talk about the differences real quick from the regular and the metal upgrade version. Let's get down to that. So this is what the metal version kit is going to look like. As you can tell over here, you can see it has a 370 size motor, then it's got a new style gearbox and it's also got new frame so the frame looks different from the older style C series so yeah that's a couple of differences between them right there so if you look over here you're gonna see that it's got plastic ball ends or rod ends plastic shock housings plastic steering horn and plastic gearbox you can see here it's got wheel weights for the metal version and you also get soft tires but I heard that's for both the kits unless you get an RTR so here it is once more the metal version kit this is what it's gonna look like this is what's gonna come in the box now if you are gonna get the standard kit it's gonna come with a 180 size motor the regular standard standard gearbox that we've already seen from WPL and it's going to have plastic axle housings and it's going to have plastic linkages for your suspension and your uh, four link or it's going to be a three link for this one I believe so yeah there's just little differences probably doesn't come with wheel weights or any of that stuff for the standard kit so you are going to get more bang for your buck with this metal kit so I do recommend it either way both kits will be great and I will do a review on both of them show you side by side exactly what's the differences with all of them once I do have them in hands well guys those are the differences right there. Let me know which one you guys think is better, which one's more bang for your buck, which one you're going to purchase. I'll see you guys out there on the trails with these crazy little rigs. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Now go out there and run that RC.